Okay, so welcome back. Uh, what I have here are three monitor, four monitors. So you have one, two, three, four, and this one here, in particular, this one is actually plugged into the into the NVIDIA GPU. So there is a cord, an HDMI. It's going from this monitor into the NVIDIA. So what I need to do now is take a look at this monitor. Here's the virtual machine that's completely black. So I just need to go to this monitor and change the uh, change the input to HDMI. So okay. As, yep, there we go. So you have a Windows PC there. Okay, take a look. The screen locked, but doesn't really matter. You have the GPU here. Let me just go ahead and unlock the screen for you uh, so you can see. So I can actually cast the mouse. That would be thunder in the background. So, uh, if I move my mouse over this machine, if I click on it, I can move it over here. And as you can see, I can unlock the machine. So I just type in the password, and I'm and I'm in. Ugh. My allergies are killing me these days. It's ter it's terrible. I don't know what I'm allergic to. So, I uh, have the virtual machine here. It's all done, mine and dandy, and it's functional. And now, what I'm going to do is play some games, my friend, and you will see how the actual games, how is the performance of the actual games on a virtual machine. There is a, as they have stated, there's a 95% native performance on a KVM along, so, should have no problems, 5% won't make a big difference at all. It shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. I'm sorry if you're hearing sounds from the back during this particular recording, because if I turned on this light, it would be terrible because my eyes would be completely black from the shadow. So I open up the window and you can hear all the sounds from outside. Oh God, the sounds. Anyway, uh, the setup is done. It's fully functional. And now we're going to go ahead and play some games and upload videos, etc. So this is how you can actually set up a virtual environment within your Linux and play games on it with 95% of native performance. We've played Overwatch, we've played WoW, we've played... I think we played Diablo, we played Heroes of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm was the most demanding one with the lowest FPS. And I don't think we played any StarCraft, but we played some bunch of other games, mostly Blizzard games, actually. But uh, we had FPS anywhere between... 54 was the lowest frame rate spike, 54 frames per second, and I think the average is like 70, something like that. The highest was 100 and something, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, as long as it's somewhere there around 60, it's more than playable for me anyway i'm not much of a gamer in the first place you will see me during the games i completely suck at them i get owned so badly it's inhumane i am the sort of guy when he plays the game the other people want to be playing against because they're having so much fun owning me in a wide variety of ways my friend's even worse <laughs> don't tell him that <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go ahead and bid you all farewell here and uh Hope to, I hope to make some. I hope to bring you some more interesting videos and help you create these setups. As I was helped on the for, on the Linux forums and read a bunch of things from the blog posts. Unfortunately, not all of the things worked out for me, but I've managed to get some useful information with which, which later on helped me. But I noticed that there aren't that a lot of other people have demonstrated this setup, but nobody actually explained what you need to do, uh, what commands you need to input how it all works, and the entire picture. So now that I have one, the procedure is the same. You can set up as many as you want, as many graphic cards as you can physically put in the machine, and as many graphic cards, as much you will need, of course, power to provide for them a PS, a good, P, a good strong PSU. And I hope it helps you out. That's it. I bid you farewell.